When you share a link, have you ever wondered about those random symbols and strings of characters attached to it? These aren't just there for a show, they are tracking information, quietly collecting data about what you are clicking and sharing. And that is where OnTracker steps in. This application strips away all those unnecessary trackers from links before you share them, keeping your digital footprint private. And just imagine you are reading an article or discovering a product, and when you share a link, OnTracker ensures it is clean and safe to use, protecting your data while keeping the link simple. And the best part, you can even customize how it handles different types of links. It's a small tool, but the difference it makes to your online privacy is huge. And this app was developed by the same developers behind the popular open source file manager application called Material Files. And speaking of file manager applications, most file management apps on Android are either too complicated or riddled with ads. And that's when this one called File Explorer comes in. It is clean, modern, and straightforward. Not so popular among open source applications, yet powerful enough for everything you need. It supports multiple tabs for easy switching between folders. Bookmarking favorite files for quick access is also supported. You can preview photos, watch videos, and even open PDFs directly within this app. And if you need to compress files or extract archives, this application handles that easily. Another big feature is text editing, and it comes with several necessary tools for it. It is lightweight and completely free of ads, making it ideal for anyone who wants a stress-free way to organize their storage. And if you ask me which new file manager application you should have as your go-to in the new year coming, I would say it should be this one. Now let's check out an application called Canade, which is a simple tool that solves a very specific but annoying problem. Have you ever needed to share an application only to realize you can't send the actual APK file? Maybe you are offline or worse, the application has been removed from the Play Store. Canade makes this simple. It lets you extract the APKs of installed applications so you can share them directly, even without an internet connection. And this is perfect if you are trying to help a friend install a useful application or backup something that is no longer available. And the best part is completely ad free and open source, staying true to its minimalist approach while working on devices as old as Android 4.4. So go check it out, it is free to install. You know, sometimes you just want your phone's battery to last a bit longer especially when you are streaming music or watching a video. Fix Standby is an application that gives you an edge by letting you turn off your screen without pausing applications running in the background. And you can enable it from the notification panel, which will bring up a black screen overlay while other applications are in use in the background. Nikita. And then I would just answer comments and see, yeah. what, see what drive, you know, and, yeah. and it became too much for her. And so we, need to, we, we needed to say, hey, well, we should not let the... Think of how much battery you could save while still keeping YouTube music playing or watching a video podcast on YouTube. With the screen on, the battery drains a bit faster, so using this application means extending your phone's life without sacrificing functionality, especially for Android smartphones with AMOLED screens. When it comes to managing your data usage, Data Monitor is an application you need. Not only does it track how much data you are using, but also analyzes it in an easy-to-understand way. Imagine getting a clear warning just before exceeding your data limit. No more surprise charges on your bill. It also keeps track of both Wi-Fi and mobile data separately, giving you complete control over your internet usage. And this is especially useful if you are working with limited data plans and want to make every megabyte count. It's got a clean and easy to use interface with Masura U design, also with no ads. Again, it comes with a simple widget for easy access to your data information right on your home screen. And for anyone who is tired of generic keyboards, there is Flores Board. It is an open source keyboard that prioritizes privacy and customization. You can easily switch between languages, create custom themes, and even enable one-handed mode for easier typing on larger phones. And with features like clipboard management, redo and undo button, key spacing and height adjustments, plus customizable gestures, it offers a level of control that standard keyboards just don't. Plus, it's evolving, so you can actively participate in shaping its development by giving feedback directly to the team. Even though it still lacks some key features which you might miss, but with its open source status, you are assured of privacy, since we share more information across through typing in various applications. I got this comment a couple of times on my previous videos and had to add this application. And so if you're into manga or novel reading, Kotatsu is an amazing application for that. It brings online catalogs, bookmarking, and offline reading into one sleek application. You can track your favorite series across platforms like My Anime List or Anilist and even get notifications when new chapters are available. 
The interface is designed to enhance your reading experience whether you prefer traditional page layouts or webtoon style scrolling. It is also optimized for tablets so you can enjoy your manga on a bigger screen without sacrificing quality. Good to mention that it is open source so your reading data stays private and there's no tracking within the app. All these applications aren't just tools, they are thoughtful solutions to everyday problems, from protecting your privacy to managing your phone's resources. Go check them out and enjoy next level Android user experience. And don't forget to leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you for watching.